Hello and welcome. Um, I'm Anneli van Rensburg from South Africa. Today I want to show you how to do stencils on an easy, in a very easy uh, way, with the uh, things that you have at, uh, in your in your house. Um, this is the book that I showed you the previous video that I just do my stuff in. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate it here, let it dry, and then I'll come back and do something with it. Um, I usually use this interior crack filler, this one that looks like a powder. And uh, in South Africa we call it polyfilla, I don't know what you call it overseas. And then uh, ordinary PVA glue that you use to uh, glue wood and stuff in your, in your garage. This polyfilla or interior crack filler is ordinary things that you use to patch up your walls, um, maybe if you've taken out a, a yilti or a, a nail or something in this uh, hole, you can fix it up with that. Uh, but to speed it up, what you can do is you, you take your polyfilla, about, uh, you, you can decide how many you want to, to, uh, to use. Then you put a little bit of water with it, that it can get a thick paste, and then you put a little bit of that PVA water-based glue in to make it almost like a buttery consistency. Uh, I'm not going to do it today because I don't want to use it on the page because I, I'm scared it's going to crack later on. I usually use those on a sturdy superwood panel or on a canvas. But for this, that's got flexibility, I'm going to use this, um, this white modeling paste. So what you do is you Position your your stencil where you want it. Um, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with this. I'm still thinking, but I think I'm going to put it something like that. Um, before I start, you can use any type of stencil. This one I made. This one I bought. Anything that you like. Um, you can just uh, you can buy them uh, very easily anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this other oh, gel medium. I'm going to press my stencil down and I'm going to just go over it like that, almost like icing a cake. Don't let it move. You can just scrape it down. Some places it will build up a little bit thicker, other places maybe a little bit thinner. But it doesn't matter, that's that's actually what, what looks nice and what you want to achieve uh, because you're going to paint over it. Then you just lift it up very slowly. You can decide maybe to put uh, maybe another one there. In that corner and you can just go over it again don't let it lift up and when you finish with that you just lift it up nicely and there you have it let me just bring it up for a close-up that you can see there you can see it's raised quite a lot. I like it that way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let it dry till tomorrow. Then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm firstly going to just put a line around her with a acrylic so that I don't lose it when I put on the, the wash because uh, the, um, and it to me it takes a while to to draw and sound, so I don't want to bore you with that. It takes too much time. Oh, 
Okay, there you go. I've um, taken out a little bit of burnt sienna, burnt umber, my blue and my white. And uh, I'm just going to quickly give this a wash. Okay, it's still a little bit um, wet, but not too much. I'm going to start doing my background now. I'm going to take a big brush because I, I want to go quickly through everything. I'm going to make a light blue um, background. A little bit of follow green. That's not the color actually I want, but I'm going to work that into the blue maybe. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to use a little bit of orange. A little bit of crimson. of this quinacridin burnt umber. Okay, I'm gonna start with a, with as I said with a with a skin color and the hair because it's gonna be a lot of the same colors that I'm gonna use there. So first of all I think I'm gonna start with the hair a little bit for darkness around the face. Just gonna put a little bit of pine scroll with a pinocridin and Valenciana just to give me a little bit of darkness and shadow. Take a little bit of my burnt um, my, my burnt sienna, my yellow, a little bit of my crimson, and I'm gonna make a flesh color. So I know underneath her everything at the everything that you can touch touch first is a little bit of more lighter than the back. The one at the back, so I'm going to put in a little bit of my, my burnt umber, ugh, my burnt tanner with my little bit of orange. I want to put in a little bit of a shadowy part here because I know this is in front. I'm going to start with my my lighter color of my flesh. It's the same colors I use. It's maybe too pink, so I'm going back to a little bit of orange. You can decide where your light source is, as I said last time as well. Um, decide where your light source is coming from, and this, and then you know that where the light touches the first, where the light touches first, that will be your lightest color.
Uh, I think while I'm busy there, I'm just going to quickly go back into my hair now. I'm using the open with my um, quinacridone burnt orange. And now I'm going to highlight with my orange. a little bit more white now I want to start in her face now, so I'm going to maybe go to a little bit smaller brush. I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna with my purple. This um, uh, well, face is in, in the shadow to this side, so I'm just going to put in a little bit of, of darkness. My paint is already getting a little bit of sticky with a with this hot weather that we're having. So, um, usually I don't like to paint with the acrylics when it's so hot, but in the paper I want to do it with the acrylic because otherwise my face is going to dry forever. And maybe I'm not gonna, it's gonna stick together. I'm highlighting the shoulder a little bit. I want to come 
to let it come out to the foreground. As well as her neck and shoulder there. I think the light will touch there also. I'm going to move back to the face now. We've got that eyelid there that's um, that's uh, that's catching light and then you've got a darker piece above your eye and then again a highlight where your eyebrows the eyebrows is but I'll as I say I'll show you that I'll show everything to you when I when I um, start concentrating on to telling you more how to paint the actual face or nose or whatever you need to do there. You usually have a little bit of a highlight in front of your lip, on the top of your lip. Of your nose, on your cheek, on the other side. On your chin, where your face is in front of your neck, that ear is squatting and is, is, is uh, catching a little bit of light there. going to put in her eyes um, or not quickly but I'm going to put in her eyes now just to give it a little bit more depth putting in the irises I'm going to use that Maybe I must use a little bit of blue for eyes. Put in a little bit of light and just to make it a little bit of my paint spray. I put a little bit of my paint spray into my white for my eye you don't use pure white I'm going to make it 
a little bit lighter Okay, take my small brush and I'm just going to define that eye a little bit more. Soften it just a little bit, no, a little while. Okay. I'm just going to slightly put in your lips now. Take a little bit of burnt sienna and my um, laser and crimson. And I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to highlight the bottom. because that's where the, the, the light is catching the most and a little bit on top Touch of that pinkish on a, on a color on her cheeks. I picked up some water, and that's not what I actually wanted to do, but yeah, we'll fix that later. Just going back into the eye now, uh, I think I went to light. Uh, you always have a type of a shadow underneath the lid. Acrylics when they dry, it's it's a it's a problem to highlight um, because you can't blend it together. 
So I'm gonna just go back there. And then just highlight in the wet paint. See how quickly it dries. I just want to go back into the irises. for the light. I'm going to darken a little bit in the ear. Oh, you see my paint's already dry. I'm just taking my water down a quilly, the purple, and I'm putting a little bit of a shadow that I uh, took away a little bit earlier when I started with a big brush. So as you can see my acrylic is already dry, so I'm just taking a, a wash of, of uh, purple. So I've put a lot of water with it. And I'm just taking a little bit of my shadows back into into it. Just be careful not to put too much in. That can easily happen. I think I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit here at the shoulder. Also a little bit of a water down. Burnt amber and purple. You can see there where I'm trying to fix that line, it's not thick. I can go a little bit darker if I want to. 
take away some of my marks. And um, doesn't cover everything underneath, it's more like a wash and they are both transparent colors so they don't take away everything at the back so I can just maybe here and there what I want a little bit of interest and depth just put in a little bit of it not too much Remember, she she ends there. This piece of plastic. Maybe I must pull it out a little bit like that, that you can maybe see the. I think I'm gonna put a little bit in there as well. Face is costing a little bit of a shadow onto a neck there. Because my paint dries so quickly, I'm just going with a light wash here and there to, to quickly um, put in a little bit of depth. I decided to change her eyes. I think I'm going to go for green. So I'm taking my follow green and I'm just covering the blue. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow and white. Just a little bit. A little bit. I think I like that more. 
I'm still deciding what to do with these um, texture that I've got here. I just want to see something. I'm going to take a piece of paper. Go over it with my um, palette knife. Knife. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. But as I said earlier, I want to give it a little bit of a mermaidy feel. We all love mermaids. Uh, I mean, even if if you get old, you still like them. Don't have to be a small goal to believe in them. bit more white and just touch the surface Put in a little touch of blue. bit more highlights in her hair and then I think I'm done. My paint is dried up there so I need to get some more. use a lot of white I think I'm gonna use the palette knife now and just put some texture if you mess it up like me you can just take a little bit of water it's dry. And quickly wipe it off. Now 
And there you go. I think I'm finished with this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, please show me on my uh, channel if you painted something. I would love to see it. And uh, you can, if you like it, please like and subscribe. I just want to quickly fix that. And there you go. Now you can just sign your name. I just used the paint that I've got left. I've got a lot of glue still on my palette. It's going to be thrown away. Now I'm going quickly to show you close up. I think this is my mermaid. I love her. There you can see the texture. The ones in her ear and in her face, I'll go a little bit closer. You can just paint over them and they won't show really. So yeah. There she is. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And a happy painting. Have a nice day.